Right, in this video we're going to look what we mean by the modulus argument form of a complex number. So here I have an argand diagram, so the axis is labeled real z and imaginary z, and here I have a complex number represented on it, and if you remember that means uh, 2 plus 3i means 2 along and 3 up. Okay, now the modulus is the length of this line here, Joining from from the origin to the where the complex number is, okay, that's uh, the length of the line. So we can find the length of the line by just using Pythagoras' theorem on this right angle triangle here. So that will be two squared plus uh, three squared, which will be in this case uh, root thirteen. Right. So that's the first part of the modulus argument. The modulus argument forms the modulus is the length of the straight line. So that's just an application of Pythagoras' theorem. Right, what do we mean by the argument? Well, the argument is this angle here. However, it ha it's defined in a, in a sort of funny, strange way. So if I move this around here, you see that the angle here uh, goes into another quadrant. And if I make B0, that will come down there like that, okay? And if we go around the other way, by moving these around a little bit, okay, we're going to get another angle here. Like that. Okay, and, uh, and it will stop there. Okay, so this, ang this angle here is called the argument. So it's the angle it makes with the positive real axis. Now, if we, go, if we run our rules of angles, if we go around this way, it is a clockwise angle. If we go around this way, it is an anti-clockwise angle. All right, so let's just put this uh, back to where it was before. So we'll sort of do two. Okay, so so when the angle is here, uh, we get a um, 0 0.98 uh, radians, okay? And the argument is defined for theta being between minus pi and pi. So if I uh, just do that again, move it around a bit, if I move it down so it's negative, you can see that theta, the argument will become a negative angle. Okay, it will go all the way around up until this point here, which is minus pi, and then all the way around here and goes from pi. So theta, the argument, is defined from minus pi up until pi. Now you can find the, um, let's just put this back. You can find the uh, angle by doing uh, tan to the minus one of this distance divided by this distance and then you can do find the angle there, you get 0 0.98 uh, radians. If you're in a different quadrant, so say A was uh, 2 here, sometimes it's easier to find this angle here and then take the angle away from 180 to get the actual argument. You just need to remember that when you're doing, when you're doing questions, okay? And similarly, uh, when we're in the other that one's quite straightforward. It's going to be that divided by that. We just need to remember the angle is going to be negative because it's in the what's known as the fourth quadrant. And then in this one here, okay, we can find this angle here. Take it away from uh, a pi, not one eighty pi, because we're dealing in radians, okay. And then remembering that the argument is negative, okay. So uh, to actually um, find the argument, it is a good idea to uh, draw an argand diagram. Uh, let's put this uh, back how it's always been. Okay, right, okay. So having found those two things, then you can uh, write the complex number in what's known as the modulus argument form. So the modulus argument form is going to be the modulus times cos of the angle, because it's uh, r cos of the angle, which is that one, plus, this is the imaginary bit, i r sine theta. Obviously the r is a common factor, so it can come out, so it becomes r cos 
beta plus i sine theta. Now in some books they write that as r cist beta. Okay, so we can see in this particular example, r is root uh, 13 uh, cos of the angle in radius 0 0.98 radians plus i sine 0 0.98 radians. This is another way of, um, of being able to write a complex number. So given that, can you get back to that? And given that, can you get to that? Okay, so we'll just move this around a bit so we just see how it changes. So if we make, um, so if we move A to over here, you see the rate, uh, the, the, mod, uh, the argument is this particular angle here, but you can find it by finding this one here. Okay. Right, sometimes they're expressed for the particular angles in terms of pi. So if I move that back to here and then move B, lower down here, you can see that the, uh, Argument here is negative, so you do need to be careful putting it in the brackets here because it's quite important. Okay, and then obviously in this one, of course, it will still be negative. Now, this applet I will put in the notes of the video. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to, well, show you how to, given the Cartesian form of a complex number, can you write it in the modulus argument form? And maybe we'll do some examples on, you know, going one way, can you go back to the other way? Okay, I hope you've understood this video. And I thank you very much for watching. And I'll just remind you that the link to the app alert is in the notes of the video. Thank you very much.